Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion, and the fit for this video is the Spawn number one cover. Let's take a look at a video. You can see this is apparently Mount Sinai. There's video footage of all this. The top is still burned. It became a kind of a volcanic glass like obsidian or something. It actually burned the rock. Yes, this is called contact metamorphic rock. It is rock that has been burned by contact with igneous masses like lava flows. And if you look on Google Earth, you can see that hundreds of square miles around this part of Saudi Arabia are covered in contact metamorphic rock. This mountaintop happens to be at the edge of that field of contact metamorphic rock, and so it is just the top portion of this peak that is covered in this, and this video is only showing you that peak. But that blackened rock spreads out for hundreds of square miles around this peak and in this part of Saudi Arabia. There's nothing supernatural, there's nothing even special about this particular peak. There are numerous peaks that have this in the area. There's also apparently the altar that Aaron made with a golden calf. They you know, made the golden calf on the altar, but on the side of the altar, they drew a picture of a calf, a cow. Still there. There are pictures of numerous different animals on that collection of rocks. It is a natural rock formation. It is far too large to be a human-made structure. And also, the drawings date to the Nabataean period, which is over a thousand years after any historical Moses could have existed. This has absolutely nothing to do with any altar that was created by anyone living anywhere near the time of Moses. God told Moses to smite the rock and water would come out. A lot of folks think this is the rock that Moses smoked. That rock sticking up on that mountain is five stories tall, 50 feet to the top of that rock, as tall as these trees around here. And it's split right down the middle. On both sides, there are erosion marks. Water came pouring out of that rock. So the split in that rock is something that occurs naturally, and we have more amazing examples of perfectly straight splits in gigantic boulders. Uh, there are two different types of erosion that are apparent in the rocks in this area. One, which is probably responsible for the formation of these rocks, is the glacier flows, and the other type of erosion comes from the flash flooding that occurs in the area. None of the erosion could plausibly come from water flowing from this rock. We have sulfur balls. I've got some here on the table. These are actual sulfur balls from Sodom and Gomorrah. They're 99.9% .9 sulfur and they're burned out. Uh, these sulfur balls specimens were tested by Michael uh, Bonilla, a friend of mine up in New York. He said they were 97.4% pure sulfur when he had them tested. Millions of these sulfur balls are over there right in that one area. These are naturally occurring sulfur nodules. They occur all over the Lisan Formation around the Dead Sea area, not just near where people locate Sodom and Gomorrah, but well beyond it. They predate any putative destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah significantly, and they also could not have fallen from the sky. They would have left indications in their context if they had fallen from the sky. They are naturally forming, and you can Google the title of this publicly available article to see how they formed.